Land would end of Gravesend Pier, standing actually on the sea wall that uh, protects Gravesend against flooding. You can see we're several feet higher than our satellite van there parked in the road. These are some of the defences. This is a great big heavy duty gate that can close and uh, the sea wall continues along there. Now, if you look down, you'll see that the tide is just on its way in at the moment. It all looks very peaceful. But uh, uh, last week, when that storm surge came down the east coast, I'm told the water came to about three feet of where I'm standing, so these defences certainly did their job. Just across the river, huge great power station at Tilbury, sitting on the floodplain behind defences very similar to these, which the environment agencies say are good against a storm, the sort of storm you get only once in a thousand years. Well, joined by Dr Justin King of Ambiental, you m model flood risks, one in a thousand year floods. Uh, is this power station safe from flooding? Well, I don't think anywhere is safe uh, from flooding, especially if you're located in a tidal or fluvial floodplain. Uh, and really, the, the degree of risk will be controlled by the quality and the nature of the flood defences, as well as the type of flooding that, that we're facing. And of course, the threat's changing. Sea levels are rising with climate change. Absolutely, that's, that's correct. Um, the recent um, IPPC report suggested that uh, sea levels are, are rising quite, quite dramatically uh, in the UK uh, and around the rest of the world. And and that means that um, with increasing sea levels, the relative impact of uh, flood events in the UK, especially from storm surge, will be greater as the sea level increases. Now, it's unlikely, clearly, because these are pretty robust defences, but if the water were to get in through these defences, what could it do to a power station like that? Well, certainly, if we're looking at tidal flooding, which can lead to the overtopping or failure of flood defences, um, we can get severe erosion and quite kind of catastrophic flooding from fast-flowing water, which breaches defences. And certainly with power stations, we're looking at you know, significant business interruption losses um, as the power can't be supplied, uh, as well as uh, damage to property uh, and potentially danger to life if evacuation can't, be, can't happen quickly. Now, we've got some helicopter sh uh, shots, I think, of another power station at Kings North, a few miles from here which is on the Medway. Now, there are four power stations on the floodplain in the Medway. There are two, uh, the Tilbury one we can see and uh, Littlebrook here on the Thames. What's the danger, the likelihood that all of these could be affected simultaneously? Well, one of the issues that we have uh, in the Thames estuary is actually a kind of funneling effect uh, of tidal surges when they come up the estuary. So that acts to increase um, a surge by up to potentially 30, 40, 50 centimetres above the normal level. Uh, and obviously, all other things being equal, um, that kind of level can overtop the defences for one and then other power stations uh, immediately upstream. So there's certainly a risk of that happening for very extreme events when they do occur. Um, how well do we understand what happens in these cases? I mean, it's your job, obviously, to try and model flood effects. Do you think we understand enough about what floods can do? Well, certainly, you know, recent uh, improvements in uh, meteorological modelling, weather modelling, as well as uh, flood modelling can help us to ascertain exactly, you know, which areas are likely to be flooded when these kind of pressure systems move uh, in the vicinity. But I think what we need is much more detailed modelling as well to look at um, those kind of situations, i.e. When, when flood defences are overtopped, where will the water go? OK, Dr Justin Butler, thank you very much indeed. Those six power stations I mentioned, between them, they account for more than 10% of the UK's entire generating capacity, but NPower, which run this one across at Tilbury, they say, well, it hasn't flooded in 50 years. They're obviously confident because they want to build another power station to replace this one on the same site, so they don't believe it's going to flood any time soon. Back to you in the studio. All right, Nick, thanks very much. Now, Julia is here. We're going to talk business. We are going to talk Barclays. It's not a loss. We it can't isn't. call it a loss. It's different. It is totally different. It's a write down. And this is uh, basically what they've come out with today is the fact that uh, they have written off.